Hi, I just thought I'd um, do a little vid on how basically I set a chart and because uh, Rob's sort of asked us to have a look at SDL I think we'll, we'll um, use that. So this is Sundance. The first thing I'm going to do, and I've already done it just to save some time, is I go through and put in a, a set of quadrant lines. Now um, this is Metastock, okay? Uh, the quadrants, you just simply draw the quadrant lines down on an arc um, from the top to the bottom and they set in quarters okay basically quadrant lines places of um, resistance support okay the next thing I do is I draw a set of um, fibs okay from zero up uh, to the top okay from the bottom to the top uh, zero first okay that would give us our normal normal retracement levels and the second set of fibs I put in is from the top down to the bottom what that does is, is it throws also another fib in here uh, that is um, what I call the last the last fib standing and that should have been the last line of support along here I call that the Alamo okay because if it goes it's back down to um, 100% retracement basically um, pretty similar to what this chart's done here um, the things to bear in mind is so you've got two different fib lines one there one here apart from the others in the middle okay so that's um, very handy and I'll, I'll show you why I've also just put a little line here along these tops and just see if that comes into play okay so um, let's just have a look at that now I've just done a, a small range here as what this thing likes to do it likes to trade these ranges there's one there and that is the same range here again okay and that is the same range again it also does other ranges that you can see that are bigger ones okay so we'll take that into account me myself I'm, I'm sort of thinking this little setup that we've got down here could turn out to be something very similar to this setup here and I think this pattern here could repeat itself okay is what I'm um, tending to look at with this stock at the moment um, so let's just go in a little bit closer and what we're going to do here now is um, just show you a way that you can pick a top how would we have known to have picked that as a top up here besides the Alamo here and the quadrant line here I'll just get rid of get rid of that as well um, the best way to do that is you can do a reverse fib let's find the fibs where are you gone here we go and just draw from say that's the top there that's probably the closing high so we'll just draw from it back down to the, the zero. It throws a 161. Bang. Pretty close. Um, right near our top. Okay, another thing you can do with fibs too, you can do fib projections. So if you'd run a fib projection from the bottom up to... What's it doing? Uh, it just wants to play silly. Let's just get it again. Okay, so let's just run a fib projection from that bottom up to where it took off. Okay, and that's the levels that's going to give us. See our 161s are, are basically hitting again. Okay. Also, uh, this 100% here looks like it might come into play as um, some sort of um, support. Okay, as well. Okay, so do bear that in mind. And what we'll do now is we'll just put a local fib set on this. We'll run it from where she went and back down. And we can see a perfect 50% uh, replacement here, uh, retracement um, here. Okay, so um, a good little spot for it to um, bounce off. What I've also done is I've um, I'll just um, make this a little bit bigger so we can all see. I've um, put in some speed and resistance lines and I'm just going to make them a more bolder colour so we can basically see them on the video. Okay, and basically what they're showing, they're showing that's anchored in the bottom here. Okay, this 
out of line here once it gets out of there it's just going too parabolic okay and it just gets to the stage where it's the point it's you know that far out of it it's coming back the stock also here had a um, small gap as well um, so it came back filled the gap bounced off the 50 percent and now she's looking to go again okay um, I'm just going to get rid of that and what I want to do now is just quickly have a look at um, indicators on this stock. We've got our MACD is sort of coming back and it's and it's getting into a range where it just might want to turn and go again. Okay, we have a look there. It's not far off a turn is what I'd be looking at there. Also, um, we've got a slight down here. Um, on our DEMA short entries and our DEMA is starting to curve down a little bit okay but to me um, I'd be thinking if this stock has an up come Monday has an up day if it does come off it's not coming off far is what I'm tending to think because this could be just the the, the start of a day off okay these will come down a little bit more and then if it has another day up the short entries kick in and away she goes Okay, volumes have been good. Volumes have been excellent in this stock. They've um, dropped off and they sort of build up a little bit more. That was a Friday, so wouldn't sort of phase me too much. Another thing um, to have a look at here too is as far as um, where the stock can go in the future. The 261 is the next one after a, a 161, so we're looking up around about the 37 cent mark. Okay, it's also the um, the one six, yeah, the six one point eight percent retracement from the high to the low. So all these fibs are sort of tying in pretty much, um, pretty well with themselves. Okay, so just something to to bear in mind there. If you're looking at for it, there you go. There's another. There's your. Um, 61.8 okay so yeah just yeah, things to bear in mind when you're looking at those so they're starting to tie in nicely um, what I'd look at now is um, I just want to have a look we're going to do the naughty thing here I'm going to turn the daily chart into a weekly chart um, just so I can come in here nice little tweezer bottom on the um, weekly there, whoops, wrong way. On the on the candles there, so we'll just see what happens with that. The other thing I forgot to mention on the daily chart, there is a really nice golden cross that's already happened. Here you can see the weekly, the golden cross hasn't happened yet. So if this stock does anything, if it does a little bit of sideways, it's it's going to get really interesting in in a couple of weeks' time. So for the longer termers, I reckon this is looking really good to me. Okay, I'm just going to quickly have a look at the weekly indicators. Okay. We're still here uh, on the DEMA, has a lot more to go, we can go to 70, 80, okay, I'm just about running out of time here. Um, it's trying to kick for a little buy signal there. Scoth can stuff around up here for quite some time and MACD is still on the buy, okay. So basically long term I think it's good.